Yes. So we've men- we've heard you mention and we've talked about me being a parent, but you are also a parent. So do you want to dive into your journey with having a nine year old son? Let's take it back to when he was before he was nine and when he was three months. How was that? Um, actually, um, it wasn't that hard for me, um, mm-hmm. uh, and it, it, to actually to 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 be a, a parent, I was only thing I was kind of worried about is is, is um, if he was going to be visually impaired. Not that you know it was too mm-hmm. much, for me, but I was just kind of worried about that. But my, my eyesight, my the lack of eyesight is not uh, uh, generic or whatever. But I had no problems with it. Um, I just had to learn, you know, as far as taking care of them, I had to learn to do it my way, the way that would be uh, beneficial to me. And plus, I've had, uh, I've had the, the the challenge of when I dated other females, they've had kids and they tr- and they trusted me to be with, you know, to babysit their kids. So I had some experience in that department. So it wasn't that hard. And um, if I may uh, 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 go back and, and and think about this video that you all had did with you, with your mom. It kind of uh, like you know put me in the mind frame of um, I was like I asked the question was my mama you know uh, was she you know being uh, overbearing when when I had my child and come to think of it in a sense she wasn't overbearing but she kind of like because she babysat me and uh, my, my 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 little boy she would come and get him in the morning time and she I don't know if she was doing it just because she didn't think I could do it or she just wanted to be in the company of chip. Uh, kids because my, my father mm-hmm. had passed so she needed somebody to take care of so i don't really know if i were to ask her she you know she probably wouldn't tell the truth but the thing of it is <laughs> to your question even more so it wasn't too much of a problem because you know i i was already um equipped to know exactly what to do and, and it, it was a breeze for me only thing only thing that's different for me now is by him being a male and i'm a male there are certain things as far as sports that i would really wish if i had sight that i actually could uh could uh, work with him at because i tried doing like throwing the football and that was not too successful yeah. several times face. So. yes I, okay i can only imagine yeah but yes you yeah. know my alternative to that was i was like well because I really won't be able to train with my son in sighted sports, I would train him and put him into blind sports, like beat baseball, because you know, they need sighted people on the field. So that's a, a sport that we can do together or goal ball and things like that. And I was really happy when I found out about those different types of sports that you can do with your vision or without your vision. And so, that's I think that's a um approach you could take too as well that's with your point. son. It's like that's, yeah. That's a that's a great point. I want to expound on that because now that I'm I'm working with visually impaired students, I my mission is to have my son interact with uh, individuals who are blind as well. So that's a great mm-hmm. point. 